Here's a demonstration of the smart stock trading automation engine in action using the demonstration simple system that we've supplied. I've got AMI broker open here and if I open the simple system APX that we've created, just bring up the code, you can see here's my system logic in here, my buys and sells and the end of the regular code finishes here below these uh, plot statements. And then below that I have all my automation settings. So this is a, I've called it simple system. It's a long simple uh, system, trades ASX symbols. It uses the artificial future bar. So it uses the back test entry and exits uh, and the various other settings that's required, including the position size per trade. So that's saved into the APX file. Now, in normal circumstances, this end date here would be set to some future date so that I'm always getting the uh, most up-to-date data. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to set a, a point in the past to show what would have happened on one day to the next. So here on this day here, the 30th of May, I've got these one, two, three, four, five, six positions open. And if I look in my uh, paper trading account, you can see I do indeed have these six positions that match those six. And I can also cross check that with my open position record. So if I go over here to the uh, automation control panel, open my automation, uh, my open position record, and that you can see that this for the strategy simple system, I have these six positions which match both the broking account and what's in the back test. So everything is lined up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the strategy one day forward now, so the, to the 31st of May. And I'm going to save the APX at that point, file save. And then I'm going to close it all down and just let the automation do the uh, the automation that, as it would have done once a, that 31st date came around. So here's my parameters, which I call up from the, again, from the control panel, strategy parameters. That's just the same file here. Uh, here's my strategy name that matches the, t the name of the strategy I've given in the AFL file my various other settings and for the purposes of this demonstration including this column here run manual is set to y and that will allow me to run it manually for for this uh, juncture i've got my data source set to norgate so it's first thing it's going to do is download the latest norgate updates um, just verify that data and then it's going to process the strategy generate the signals and then uh, do the automation in my broking account itself my broking account being this one Nine seven seven nine zero seven 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 nine zero seven seven. This is a paper trading account I'm working with right now. Okay, so that's everything ready to go. So let us now go over back to here to the control panel, and I can now click this button here to trade the to run the trade automation for all the run manual strategies, of which there is one at this stage. So it's going to fire up, and as you can see, the first thing it does is open AMI broker. So it's doing that now, and you can see the next step is the opening Norgate here in this blank window here. In a second, you'll see the Norgate window appear. Here it comes. So that's now, and this is all this is all the machine doing it. My my hands are nowhere near the keyboard or the mouse at this point, and you can see that it's now downloading the data, getting the latest uh, Norgate data. So if this was an ASX strategy, I'd probably schedule this to happen in the evening, Australian time, so that it's after hours and the data is available. And that's it just doing the Norgate data, uh, data maintenance now, as you can see. Just take a few seconds to go through that. That's now complete. And then the next thing that will happen is it will pull up the strategy, do a quick back test, quick explore, it's generated the signals, and now it's back to the automation window where it's now processing those signals. And you should see the orders now appearing in my account as if by magic. I've got two buy orders here and one sell order has gone in. And you can see these are actually market orders. So 
if I was out of hours, they would, these would trigger at the next open. The market's actually running at the moment, so you can see those orders are actually filling as we speak. That's the two buy orders filling. Meanwhile, the automation is now complete. It's finished its job and the, uh, the job is done. And so the next thing that will happen is it will send me an automation report. And here is that automation report just dropped into my inbox. And so you can see here, it's telling me the date and time that this was ran, the name of the strategy and uh, what my pre um, automation or my pre trading balances were at the broker. Then here are the three executions that were made. We had uh, these open positions here. And as you can see, this, these were the orders that were placed. So that's all gone through. And if I click here on this uh, HTML file that's attached to the email, I can verify that the orders were indeed one exit for EBO and an entry for MAD and BKW. So I can go back, just verify that that was in fact the three orders that were placed. So everything seems to be fine and reconciled. And I can leave it uh, for another day to do its thing on the following day. And that is how the automation works.